<laughs> you just did it for me. Hi, Hi cousin kids. <laughs> it's Shannon and Kylie. And Kylie's my cousin. How old are you? I'm 10. Yep. And we're going to do the judging a book by its cover tag. And I'll put who created it down below and all that sorts of fun stuff. We chose seven books, right? Mm -hmm. And she, Kylie's going to tell us what they're about. And then I'm going to tell her that she's wrong. And <laughs> Like what it is actually about. You never know. You might get it wrong. But she's oh, really way. smart, so maybe you'll get it right. We're just gonna get started. Number one is Across the Universe by Beth Ravis. I'm gonna give it to you. Now tell me what that's about. Ice has ice on it. Good observation. And that looks like metal. Across the universe. Hmm. I wanna do it. I think it's about I think it's like very icy and they're going across the universe. I got it. What is this story about? Either a boy or a girl, or maybe mm -hmm. both. Mm -hmm. and they're going across the universe and it's very icy. Is that all you got? Yeah. Really? Okay, it's about this girl and she's frozen and put on a spaceship so that uh, she can be woken up like hundreds of years later and be on this new planet. She's woken up early and so she's on this spaceship and they're not on the planet yet and that's sort of what it's about. I Space. Was way off. You weren't way off. You were pretty good. Are you ready for the next one? No. The next one <laughs> the next one is Hourglass by Myra McIntyre. I have a feeling that uh, about this girl mm -hmm. Blondie. Um <laughs> I think she's like locked in a room because she looks like she's she wants to get out because she's like... <gasps> Where am I? Where? Where? Yeah. She got put in the room while she was passed out or something. Oh. You know that glass where you can't see out of it but you can see in it? Uh-huh. And that maybe they have that. Maybe. Check on her and she never gets out and dies in there. What is wrong? <laughs> Why? Because. And she starves to death. Kylie, stop being so morbid. What's that mean? You're so dark. <laughs> I love being dark! <laughs> we went to a birthday party, a one-year-old birthday party, mind you, and this one got a skull and crossbones airbrush tattoo. Right here. This book is about this girl, and she can, uh, I read it so long ago, but she can basically, she can like see visions from the past. Like, she'll be walking down the street, and she'll not only see the people in modern day, but she'll see people from like hundreds of years before, too, sort of, kind of, and there's this whole time travel aspect. No, you got it all wrong. No. <laughs> Are you ready for the next one? No. This is a really cool cover. It is Alienated by Melissa Landers. Ooh, that. Oh, Ooh. that looks so cool. I told you. I think the boy is the alien because it looks like he's out in space. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Maybe she's like looking up at space and stuff and he's looking down at her. How do you think they met? He's a real alien, mm -hmm. but he's just in um in disguise as, as a human. human. Goes down to um Earth. Yeah. And um they meet each other and they fall in love and <laughs> mushy stuff. <laughs> and I think he was there um like as a mission or something. So um the aliens, all the other aliens, could see what um Earth was like. You are so close. You're like you're you did really well. Are you done? Or are you no. Done? Oh, not and then, done. Uh huh. And yeah. Well, this you were very close. This is about uh, a girl, and she's like the smartest girl girl in her grade. So she gets sent, or this alien guy gets sent to her to be like a foreign exchange student, sort of kinda. Except he goes to Earth to be the foreign exchange student, and it is because their planet wants to know more about Earth and that sort of thing. So you were really close. And they do fall in love, so you were close about that, too. Boom! I just finished this next book yesterday, and it is Let's Get Lost by Addie Allsaid. And this oh, is... Yeah! yeah. Did you see me reading it? Yeah. And it's not out until July 29th, but you guys should all go pick it up. It's so good. Do you want to come up? Oh, God. Just make up your mind. Like, should okay. I? No. Okay, I think it's about, uh, like I said, two teenagers. <laughs> you. Oh, my God. It's a party. Sit, Louis. Louis, sit. Let me sit. And they go on a road trip. Do you want to get down? And um, they are going someplace, like maybe where that X is. See yeah. The X. The X. Maybe they um, get to that spot, but maybe they don't know how to get back. So they get stuck there for a few days. So they're calling for help 
put, put people that they know. Right. And, um, and then I think they got rescued, but, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> after years and years of walking, I think they finally got back to their house. Oh, that's, okay, happy ending. What it's really about is, hi. <laughs> <laughs> what it's really about is this girl and her, she's on a road trip to see the Northern Lights in Alaska, and it's all about her different encounters with people that she meets along the way. You were, I mean, you were, it's about a road trip, so you were generally, oh my god, there's dog drool all over my face. Next is Fire, oh, thank you. Next is Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott. Okay, Fire and Flood. A feather? A feather, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I think I know what it, it's about. Okay, okay. I think all it's right. about, like, a girl and a boy, and they like live on a farm, mm -hmm. and maybe they have a lot of animals and stuff. Yeah. One day there is like a fire in the barn, and also it was like Raining. downpouring and stuff, and it, it got flooded, and um, some of the animals die because um, they can't get saved. Some of the animals die by drowning, maybe the fire, and then. Um, they raise enough money after like a fundraiser mm -hmm. and they raise enough money to um rebuild their farm. Am I close? No. It's about this girl who lives well her brother is really sick so her family moves actually from like Boston to like the middle of nowhere. Um because they think the fresh air will do him good. But then she gets a letter one day saying that if she wants to get the cure for her brother, she can participate in the brimstone bleed. It's kind of like the Hunger Games. And the winner gets the cure for the disease. I was way off. You were way off. Way off. Next is Open Road Summer by Emery Lord. Kylie. Oh my goodness. I kissed him. Here. Open Road Summer. Okay, obviously by just taking my first look, I think, um, um, a boy and a girl fall in love because they're kissing. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> and maybe they're going somewhere together because it says open road summer and I think it's in the summer. <laughs> and I think they're going somewhere together, maybe on vacation. Maybe. They've gone somewhere like in the grassy fields on like a picnic. <laughs> So romantic, uh -huh. and they have lunch, and then something bad obviously has to happen. Yeah, there has to be a problem. The problem might be that the girl's dad might not like the boy, so uh. he's trying to break them up. But they're secretly dating. Oh, so oh, but then how does the dad know? And the dad doesn't find out until. Oh, but when he finds out, he's really mad. Yeah. Then maybe. Shutting. Maybe he proposes. Oh, he proposes. And so they have to tell the dad. It is, there is some sort of like romance, but it's mostly about two best friends. One of them is like a country superstar, like Taylor Swift, kind of like. And the other one, who is the main character whose point of view it's from, is kind of, she's just totally normal, but they've been best friends forever. And it's about, uh, you know, they go on tour, you know? Yeah. You paying attention? Yeah. <laughs> the last one is Ferris by Gail Carson Levine. It's obviously, um... <laughs> obviously. <laughs> it's another, um... What was that? Snow. Ew, my dog is like cleaning himself in the yeah. background. <laughs> Sorry! It's another Snow White thing, but just, um... Like a retelling? Yeah. It's not like... More grimy and stuff. Grimy? Gruesome. Gruesome? Yeah. Instead of like a little flower. Mm. Happily ever end. Oh, yeah. That's not real. Happily ever after. Yeah. Happily ever after. Whatever. Well, it, that's <laughs> not reality, people. <laughs> Get it together. It's about this girl, and she's not really pretty, but she has a really pretty voice, but her whole life, you know, nobody treats her, like, well, because she's not pretty. And then one day she gets to go see the king, and then it's really complicated, and, like, and then she turns pretty, and then it's confusing, and it's, that's not really, it's, it's, it's a really good book. That was the Judging a Book by its cover tag. Thanks, Kylie. You're welcome. <laughs> um, we will see you guys, or I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, Ellen. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>